Sean, thanks very much. You might have noticed an influx in calls you don't recognize. It's because for the past 19 days, no one is regulating unwanted robocalls due to the government shutdown. Julia Fellow shows us the free pass that telemarketers are getting away with for now. It is annoying. I don't ever answer them. Sometimes I'm comforted by Rachel who tells me my credit card is good. So sometimes that's a highlight of my day. I have to turn my uh, uh, ringer off a lot. Unfortunately, you cannot file claims about any illegal calls with the Federal Trade Commission right now. Their website shows they are closed due to the lapse in funding. Telemarketers who violate the National Do Not Call Registry can be fined more than $41,000 per call. This is the message you get if you dial the FTC helpline right now. Due to the government shutdown, we are unable to offer this telephone service at this time. We will resume normal operations when the government is funded. Real estate agent Trisha Brost relies on her phone for work day and night. So I think that should work for tomorrow morning. She has noticed an uptick in robocalls with her 262 area code. Yesterday I got probably four. I'm on the do not call list, which makes it really frustrating. Trisha is not alone in this. Okay. Before the government shut down, we found Milwaukee ranked 77 in the top 100 cities bombarded with robocalls with more than 20 million sent in October alone, according to robocall tracking company UMail. That was up 11% from the month before. It's unclear at this point if those numbers have risen. Our state relies on the National Do Not Call Registry to protect your number. However, the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection tells me they are still investigating fraud calls and are not affected by the government shutdown. Our Julia Fellow reporting there. You can call them at the number there on your screen, or you can file a complaint through a link that we have at TMJ4.com. Thanks to Julia for that report.